Ew, what is good? Why are the big people? What is good, yo? So with everything going on in this week's episode of Drive, it really does feel interesting that we got the whole entire narrative of where these kids are trying to go and what they are actually created from because seeing this boy being able to recover as quickly as he does is actually this like the sketchiest part (laughs) of the kid everything else seemed relatively normal for now I I know have some perspective on what this boy has actually been through and what he has continued to still go through just to try to get through this situation as a whole so we learned very quickly that he is an immortal mainly due to having so many different kids uh somehow entwined with him like somehow They're all a part of him, or they're all supposedly were used for him. Hence why every time he was getting experimented on, I think they were putting another kid's something or another in him. I don't know exactly what the heck it was, but for some odd reason, he already had seemingly been immortal, like, Every single experiment he kept going in and coming out of, not only was he fully recovered, but he also knew that his head had gotten chopped off multiple times. So, not only is he conscious to it throughout all this whole entire stuff, he experienced it multiple upon multiple times, and for some reason never took it as, uh, he never wound up come out (coughs) angry he was never angry about being experimented on because like i said he thought he was doing it for the other kids so they would be safe but seemingly that isn't even the truth and they wind up destroying all those kids by putting them in some kind of tank to then funnel into another graduate who is the sister that we find out about but it feels as if she wasn't there like she just randomly kind of gets all the other kids and that's when she shows up like she's i feel like she's more artificially created than the boy is and hence why he actually had some like growing friendships and stuff like that compared to the sister who just kind of feels like she uh it's just nowhere near as self-aware or anything as the brother is so very very interesting stuff as a whole with this show i really don't know what to expect which kind of makes the show that much better um because not only did we learn that like a war had taken over earth and pretty much made it what it is today but we then learned that with how these wars were it wound up reaching the moon how you shoot the moon when you're trying to shoot people on earth i don't know (laughs) but they figured out a way to do such and mess everything up so i mean i'm not really surprised humans always meet or like defeat my expectations usually all the time especially in anime when they love to do dirty things to people and just kind of play it off like nothing happened so we will definitely be seeing what happens at the end of the show i have been very very interested in it uh since the very beginning so to think that the doctor was a traitor makes a lot of sense because if really came down to it she could have just went with the person who was fighting the executioner and just kept healing them right heal the person that's fighting the executioner over and over and instead she really found a way to never even show up at the fight right like she's like oh well 
I don't even need to be where the brawler is, the person who's putting in the most effort to finish and complete the mission. I do apologize for the train in the background. I have no control of that stuff, so, yeah. Well, with all that being said, I guess I will get out of here, seeing how the train just kind of <laughs> ruined my flow, but... Overall, I think I nailed pretty much all the things that need to be talked about. Let me know what you're thinking about when it comes down to these kids, what this immortality even means, seeing how they're just supposedly a gift for somebody of the Kano region. Um, so think about it like this. People are so desperate to impress somebody that they went out of their way to destroy over 5,000 kids to experiment on them to make two kids to be able to send out to then get praised or a reward for doing so. I don't know where this is going, but I can tell you one thing. I'm excited to see what pops off at the end of the day, and I'm definitely interested in hearing what you guys are thinking of this show. I hope you have an amazing day, night, evening, whatever the case may be when you're watching this. Oh, and if you have made it this far, I do have to start asking for likes and stuff because I just found out my channel is on a block list, like a, a list where my videos just don't get sent out to people and it's mostly due to the like and dislike ratio. So because I gotten dislikes because I dropped my videos early, which I thought people would appreciate, I am getting dislikes for it. So. If you guys can help me out and balance my channel to see, I guess, I, I would have to wait longer times to post my stuff just so people can't dislike me. Like, that's dumb, and I don't really care. But at the same time, the whole point to getting stuff out is so it actually reaches you guys, and it can't reach you if supposedly I'm on a block list, so... Yeah, it's always fun being on these types of stuff, but I hope you guys have an amazing one. Thank you for your support, and I will talk to you in the next one. All right, peace.